Good morning, my friends. Today is Saturday, July 27th. It is Saturday of the 16th week in Ordinary Time. I want to start with comments about the Olympic Games opening ceremony with the mockery of the Last Supper with uh, um, yeah, I just, it's just shocking to see what they did. First of all, what does that have to do with the Olympic Games? I know some saying they're representing inclusion. They could do that in many other ways. It, and Christianity is always the one that's attacked. As Christians, as Catholics, it should show us that we have an enemy. And, uh, you know, they wouldn't attack other religions but Christianity, attacking Christianity is accepted. So we have some options. What do we do as a response to this? You can boycott the games. It's unfortunate because many of the athletes have nothing to do with this. Somehow, uh, hopefully the organizers of the Olympic games can experience the repercussions. But we can also pray for conversion. And it's so connected with the gospel today. I was kind of, not surprised because the Holy Spirit's always at work here, right? If we go to Matthew chapter 13, verses 24 to 30. So Jesus is sharing another parable. The last couple of days we had the, the sower and the seed. This is a new parable. The kingdom of heaven may be likened to a man who sowed good seed in his field. Of course, it's God, God sowing his word, his grace. While everyone was asleep, and so this is symbolic of, of all of us falling asleep, but all of us kind of letting this happen, not speaking up, not saying anything. And his enemy came and sowed weeds all through the wheat. And boy, have we seen that, that the enemy has sown weeds everywhere. And as people who like to garden and watch things grow, weeds, always grow better than uh, the wheat, the, the good things, right? The enemy knows what he's doing. and he's, he's planting weeds all around us, going after our children, our universities. Um, and uh, we have to wake up. We can't stay sleeping and let this happen. And then, then he went off the enemy. When the crop grew and bore fruit, the weeds appeared as well, of course. So the weeds grew with, with the, the good crop. And the slaves of the householder came to him and said, Master, did, did you not sow good seed in the field? Where have the weeds come from? And we know where the weeds come from. He answered, an enemy has done this. And then his slaves said to him, do you want us to go and pull them up? So this goes to our response. Now we can just, you know, attack and, and you know, pull out the sword and, you know, remember, I think of Peter in the Garden of Gethsemane, when they were gonna arrest Jesus, you know, he cut off the ear uh, of the soldier and Jesus said, put put the sword back. This does not mean that we sit by idly. Um, it, so he says, no, if you pull up the weeds, you might uproot the wheat along with them. Let them grow together until harvest. Then at the harvest time, I will say to the harvesters, First collect the weeds and and tie them in bundles for burning, but gather the wheat into my barn. So why does Jesus say, let all of this grow together? One, scripture says that God's desire is that all be saved, everyone be saved. Now there's gonna be people who choose God and those who do not choose God. And of course we're seeing the how the enemy has sowed weeds all over. We can pray for those people and, you know, does it seem like a lost cause for some people? It might seem like it, but God can do anything. So one, we have to speak up. We have to stand up for our faith. And at the same time, we need to pray for the conversion of, of the world, one person at a time, starting with ourselves, repenting from any of our own sins, becoming more like Christ every day, and then praying for those who uh, have allowed the seeds of the enemy to be sown into their hearts. Um, and so let us speak out. Let us stand strong in our faith. Let us also be loving. Um, 
And so this is where it's that, that challenging balance to, to be strong and courageous and loving and merciful at the same time. Remember, God's justice wins in the end. His mercy triumphs over judgment, but he will burn the weeds in the end and the wheat will be gathered into his barn. Let's let God decide that in the end and uh, pray for those who persecute us, pray for those who are lost right now. So Heavenly Father, we thank you and praise you for your son Jesus. We lift up to you the athletes in the Olympics who have nothing to do with this. Um, I ask you to bless them, but for those who you know, have allowed the, the seeds of the enemy to be sown into their hearts, we pray for their conversion. We pray for the conversion of every one of us that we may become the men and women that you have called us and created us to be saints among the saints in the halls of heaven. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please continue to like, subscribe, and share these videos with at least one person today. Tune to your families, Buen Camino, and God bless you.